Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of All Ball Chicago. I'm your co-host, Robert Bobby Reed, and I got the legend MPV veteran on the mic, Marcus Liberty, your host. But then we got a guest in the building, arguably one of the best power forwards in the game, man. Let's give it up for Derek Coleman, D.C. What's up, D.C.? What's the deal, baby? What's the deal? How you doing, man? Everything's gravy over here. Liv, uh, you I'll got your boy, huh? I had to, man. Hanging back there, Liv. And it, hey, it, he got the jersey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm open season for this, man. Rick Barry was lighting me up for the jersey, man. <laughs> yeah, but man. Man, it's, good, pal. it's good to have you on, man. I was telling my guy, Robert, that, man, I'm going to get D.C. on. He's like, when you going to get D.C. on? I said, man, that's my guy. Don't worry about it. We're going right. to get D.C. on, man. Yeah. I was you stalking know, him. I was stalking him. I don't know how like, much that love is with us, Liv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go way back, man. So, no. but yeah. So, D, we was talking earlier, man, and uh, now we much, you know, clear and all that, man. Yeah, so, yeah. we gonna, we going to rewind it, man, and go back to what we was talking about. You, you know, being, you know, raised by your grandmother, taught yeah. you a lot of stuff. And, yeah. and Alabama, you know, down south. You know, <laughs> a lot of people thought you was just born and raised in Detroit, I, not I, knowing I, you was I, from I, Alabama. Yeah, man. That, that was, you know, my upbringing, my beginning, you know, uh, being in Alabama. Uh, because, you know, my mother moved to Detroit because of the uh, job opportunities, you know. So uh, I used to come to Detroit every summer and stay with my mom and my cousins and everything. But when it was time for me to go back to school. I go back, you know, to Alabama. My grandmother, you know, raised me, man, you know. And uh, a lot of people don't know that. They think, you know, like, man, you from Detroit, man? Nah, man, I'm from Mobile, Alabama, man. Right on the Gulf of Mexico. I mean, I'm a country boy. You know, I love fishing, all that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they don't make them like you in the Midwest anyway, DC. We for know sure. that. For sure. Yeah. I mean, we, when you really look at it, Rob, uh, Spencer Haywood, you know, Mississippi, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You got a bunch of guys that, again, we migrated, our families migrated to Detroit for the job opportunities in the automotive industry. Uh -huh. Is the boys? Is those? Is those? Those Jones, uh, Carwell Jones, and all of them? Are they from Alabama? No, no, Carwell Jones is not. No, he's not from here. Yeah, okay. yeah, but man, but I think Roy Tarpley is right. Well, see, people don't even know that either. Live yeah. Roy Tarpley is from Mobile, Alabama. Yeah, yeah. he moved yeah. to wow. Detroit. Yeah, wow. so I mean, it, it runs deep, man. You know, it definitely does. But uh. My grandmother, you know, she she raised me. I got like 13. I actually moved, you know what I'm saying, to Detroit. You know, first time I really ever played organized basketball. Like coaches, you know, referees, you know, besides like playing in the, in, in the backyard. You know, I always had a hoop in my backyard in Alabama. You know, we played on the dirt court. You wow. Know, friends in the neighborhood and stuff, you know. But people don't even understand my first love, though, was baseball and football. Wow. Yeah. You know, I grew up playing that because my grandmother loved, you know, baseball. So I used to watch the games, you know, and stuff with her. And um, I, was, you know, started playing as, as a kid. And then, you know, from baseball, you know, you went straight into football. You know, down south, like you say, it's hot. So mm -hmm. ain't you no, know, like up, up north, you know, wintertime, you know, we going. Yeah, D, did we lose you again? Yeah, I think we lost them again. I got you. Are we back? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. But, I mean, so, everybody's on Zoom, so we're going to get that, y'all. So, yeah, so yeah. Gonna keep rolling. All right. Yeah. So, so you said, yeah, in, in the summer, in the wintertime, you were still out in the back. Still outside, outside. Yeah. Right. Still outside T-shirts and shorts, you know? <laughs> All right, right. Yeah, and us in Chicago, man, we like, Shh, man, it's too cold to be right. outside. Right. Um, so yeah, yeah, that South well, is good cool. living though, man. It's great man, living. It is, man. Here, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to get back there now. You know. Yeah, yeah. I can. I can understand it though, D. Because me being out here in Florida now, man, it's crazy how, like you said, yeah. how they do things, man. I don't eat a lot of seafood. I'm trying to get into it, but mm -hmm. yeah, they 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 big on their seafood. Man, I love it. I love it. Fishing and I can eat it every day. You know, and I know we were talking about that earlier when we were talking about us being raised, you know, by our grandparents, man. And at the time when we we're young, we don't realize, you know, like what people are really doing, you know, for, like, for survival. 
and, right. and still having that strong hand there, you know, for it. I said, probably one of the reasons I love seafood because my grandmama worked at a seafood restaurant and she would come home late night, we'd be up for it. She'll bring us crab legs, you know, shrimp, lobster tails, everything, you know, but- That was good eating. Man, it was great eating. That's <laughs> good eating, Liz. Hey, especially with the nine in the house, in a three-bedroom house. Ooh, nine. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm, my, I'm, I'm my grandmother's oldest grandchild. Oh, wow. You know? Oh, wow. So it was me, my little cousin, Diana, which is her granddaughter, and the rest was all my uncle, you know, her kids. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my family, we all raised instead of, like, aunts and uncles. Everybody think we brothers and sisters. That's how it used to be, man, back you know in the saying? days, though, man. Yeah. Tight, yeah everybody tight, lived yeah. at everybody's house. Yeah, everybody bright, man. Open welcome back to everybody's house. So my grandmother, I watched her, man, you know, work two jobs. You know, she worked in the school system during the day, and then she'd come home, change her clothes, and then go to Russo's, you know, restaurant. You know, okay. and, uh, come back home, you know, two, three in the morning, bro. Like I say, we would sit and wait up for her. She come in the house and, and imagine that laying down, you know, two, three hours, man. Boom, back at it again. Back up and back at it again. But as a kid, we ain't understanding that. Mm -hmm. You right. know what I'm saying? At all. But like when we get older, you really sit back and reflect on life. Like, man, wow. Like this woman here, man, was so, and still with the discipline. <laughs> what, was it, right. what was it? A switch or a stitching cord? Oh, a stitching right. cord, bro. Ain't no switches. Go out there and get ain't it, no, boy. Yeah, Come back. Ain't no switches. <laughs> it's so crazy, though, because you, like you said, as kids, come on, it's nine of us, so somebody gonna get the fight. Right, all the time. It don't even matter, because my grandma <laughs> get all, she gonna whoop everybody. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell am I getting the woman for? I didn't even know that. Yeah, you ain't break it up. You ain't say nothing. Bring right. your ass on the end. Hey, you better be the one to go tell, boy. Yeah, oh, man. It don't even matter. Yeah, come on. Come on with wow. it. You do. You do use in trouble, man. I was just laughing. Me and my, uh, my wife was laughing the other night. Cause I was watching. I don't know if y'all watched the uh, Clark Sisters. Uh, oh, we haven't. I, I, I haven't watched that one yet. It just so came, it just Fox, came just out right before Easter. You yeah. know, cause the Clark Sisters are from Detroit, and they're the gospel singing group. Right. Okay. But they mama man was like Joe Jackson. You know? <laughs> so I'm sitting there laughing. And my wife was like, "What you laughing about?" I said, "Man, cause that's my grandma. I ain't wow. playing, she ain't playing. She ain't holding them up." And you wow. knew you was in trouble. My grandma would call you by your middle name. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. Come here. Don't say all three names to her, oh, dad. Man. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> Oh, oh man. get your ass toe up. <laughs> you know, and you know what? And, and you know what? That was the core, the core of all our African American families. Exactly. That was I, the root of it that kept I us really, all in check. Rob, I really feel that's what we're missing now. When yeah. I look at the generations after us, you know, it's like there's no discipline no. in the household. Parents are really trying to be kids' friends, you know. So who who sits at the table and and drink and smoke with their kids? And you want me to have respect for you. Right. You know, so it all boils down for me back to the family structure. We've lost that somewhere. We lost you know? yep. Hey Derek, I agree with you on that too, man, because I had my grand my grandmother and I, I actually had my great grandmother in my life for a very mm, long time. Yeah, yeah, I had my, my great grandma. Yeah, so we saw you know how that togetherness was all, what it was all about. And my grandmother, I never seen her pick up a drink. I never seen her smoke uh, in front of me, at least. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and when she passed, it was like she was passing it to the next generation. Yeah. Yeah. But somebody, like we said, somebody dropped the ball. Yeah. And, and now it's everybody everywhere. You know, yeah. we don't come and meet them gatherings. Like you said, you, yeah. you guys still do. Yeah. You barbecue, your cookouts and all that. Yeah. We don't have that. And I think we need to get back to that as a family. Each, each one of us got our own families and we need yeah. to, we might not, we might meet, need to be the one that, that pulls that, that group back together it, again. Like, man. like you said, when you raised that way and you've seen it, you know what I'm saying? And you know, Liv, just starting out, you might not get everybody. Right. You no, know? mm -hmm. but in, in time, people will gravitate, you know, to it, man. And, and it will happen, but that's what you need. Even just to, to see each other. I tease my son and about, you know, all the time, like, Hey man, 
meet your cousins because y'all want you walking here one day like that. This such and such, like boy, that's your damn cousin. <laughs> because I come, I come from a large family, man. Right, I mean, okay. you know, I got family everywhere. Because right, I think you got you got people in Chicago yeah, too. Yeah, right? I got cousins on South Side Chicago too. Let me yeah. tell you something, DC. Ridge Any, ways. Yeah. Anybody, anybody that you meet with the last name Coleman, man, that's your family, dog. No, it's you not. Can't, you can't split no. that up. You, no. oh, you ain't gonna say because you in the uh, league. No, I just uh, messing with you. Know, <laughs> you know how I get them, Rob? I get them like this. Who your mom and your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell me who your mom and your dad is or who your grandparents is. You know, I know I'm you saw. Hey, Liv, hey, hey, DC, I'm sorry, Liv, for cutting you off, but <laughs> being the first round draft pick, people was coming from everywhere, right? Yeah, oh, without question. <laughs> without question. But see, like, like I said, from what we were talking about earlier, when you talk about a family structure, a whole family, mm -hmm. so we have family reunions every year. So I got a chance to see all my cousins. Wow. From Chicago, from Denver, you know what I'm saying? From Detroit, from New Jersey, everywhere. I got a chance to see them. So we growing up that way. Like I right. said, all my cousins now today, they're not my cousins. They're more like my brothers and sisters. Because That's we always up, spend so much time together. Nice. Yeah. That's what's up, D. I, like, I love that too, man. That family. You got to have it, man. That family connection, man, is so, yeah. so important, man. But let's talk about a little bit about, you know, the high school. We're just going to dive in it because yeah. we only got 30 minutes. We only got 30 minutes, so we got to okay. boom, boom, boom. So let's yeah. go to the high school. You, you're you becoming a McDonald's All-American. And we, we was talking live, earlier. Live. Oh. Okay, you talk high school. I didn't okay. start, bro, until my junior year of high school. Come on, Derek. I can't believe yeah. that, man. That's I can't hard believe to believe, that. Dude. <laughs> I didn't start. Can't believe that one, man. You were salty. You know, um, my sophomore year, I was like six, seven, man, you know, coming Damn. off the bench. You know? So you were, you were coming off the bench? Yeah. Yeah. And when I was in the, uh, the 10th grade, I was coming off the bench. So what made you, what made you, like, what, what clicked in your mind and got you to that, that level to be the start of your junior year? Uh, just working, being, okay. you know, in the gym, working summertime because, you know, I couldn't afford to go to none of these high-end camps back then. You know, great, great story. When I finally went to, uh, remember the BC camp in Indiana? Yep, yep. In, Rens <laughs> in Rensselaer, Indiana. Indiana. I yeah. wish I could find the guy to, to this day, uh, uh, Liv. So we all go to camp, but my uncle takes me, right? So... T Mills, you know what I mean? Everybody there, I don't really know them. You know what I'm right. saying? Right? So we go uh -huh. to camp, we all plan and, and everything. So when the camp over with, my uncle ain't even come back and pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> come over here. I'm standing like, okay, where my uncle at? Then ain't no cell phones. Right. So I had to go back in the building. I think Garfunkel, one of those guys, hey, man, I need to use the phone in there, right? So I call home. My aunt is like, I said, where Uncle Robert at? He's like, he ain't came home yet. I'm like, what you mean? I said, hey, <laughs> this shit over with up here. <laughs> It's so great. And I know my Uncle Friday, he got that check. Ain't no telling where he is. He forgot about me. You know? He got the dragon. Oh, man. Playing cards. Playing cards or something somewhere, man. He forgot about me. You know, he got that forward check. He's like, oh, man, that boy, he all right. You know? But it's so great. But, but the, the point is, bro, again, when you're talking about family and you're talking about good people. Right. I wrote. You said, uh, you said well, you're breaking up again, D. Oh, there you right. go. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. His, his mom and dad picked him up from camp, bro. And they was like, Derek, we'll give you a ride to and tell your uncle, your cousin, come and pick you up in Indiana. Wow. I ain't know this guy. You didn't know him? I didn't even know him. They, he played in the camp. And I wish my whole time that I was playing that I could find this guy. Got in touch with me. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it was me, man. You know what I'm saying? Gave wow. me a ride to Indiana, bro. When I got to Indiana, I called my aunt and them and my cousin, them, they gave me their address. My cousin them came and picked me up in Indiana. Wow. wow. 
Yes. Good. That, that's that's how crazy. Real it is. Yeah. But that's, that's how crazy. that's how good people were. Yeah. Back then. You know, so yeah. again, Liv, I, 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 you know, I come back my senior year and, you know, I'm, I'm just giving it to him, you know. And what, and what high school was that, D.C., again? Northern. Northern High School. Okay. Um, I mean, my high school, Aretha Franklin, Betty Shabazz. You oh. Know, and Smokey Robinson. Whoa. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. Guy, Willie Ford from the Dramatics, you know. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Motown, that's right, Motown, yeah, baby. Motown. Hey, man, that was Hollywood before Hollywood, man. Oh, Motown, on, man. man. Yes, without question. And, and it's so crazy. Motown, I, I lived maybe seven blocks from Motown. Oh, my neighborhood man. to this day, right? But then I'm two blocks, same block now. I'm two blocks from the riots in 67. So my neighborhood is so enriched with history. You know, mm -hmm. from Motown to the riots to the whole automotive industry and everybody migrating there. Right. So, you know, I go into my senior year live and I'm just like, okay, you know, because again, I couldn't yeah. afford to go to them camps. So I'm just like, hey, man, they gonna recognize, you know, right, right now. I'm gonna give it to them. And again, you know, live anything, it all goes with confidence. Yep. Yep. It all starts with confidence, man. You know, and it's just like, man, hold up, this dude can shoot it. Shit, he, he ain't going to get, you know, he going to get it and rebound it, but he bringing it itself. Right. Ain't no guards that, coming to get it. And I think, D, that's what was special about you, man, that you can get that rebound and you can push that push. thing up the court but I, and I, make yeah. those, you, you was making like the right play every time. The, yeah. the basketball IQ at that height too, man, was on. Uh, you know, off the think charts, about, man, and I saw about, that. Think about this way, Liv, just like you. We tall, we seeing over everything. <laughs> yeah, right. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't Kenny Anderson. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm tall, I'm seeing over everything. And yeah. I'm passing it, but I tell people that all the time, it's like, man, who you ever patting your game after? I said, let me explain something to you. I grew up, you know, Loving Magic Johnson, wanting to be Magic Johnson. Exactly. Right. But at that, but at that power four position, Tarpley was doing that way before right. everybody else. Right. I, I said, agree. You know, he he just fell into his issues or whatever. Have you, bro? I said, but you talking about game on the on the basketball court, man? The real deal. Around that thing, pushing it, boarding it, shooting it, passing it. And right. when you look at every every one of that's come from here, me, Chris. Jalen, Steve, all of our games are, are, the, are the same, man. Yeah. You can go down the tough. line. Tough. Yeah. Just pure toughness, man. But, but that skill set. Yeah. Kids yeah. don't have a skill set no more. Mm -hmm. All kids want to do now, you know, I can shoot the basketball. Right. And right. that's what I, we was talking about. Yeah. Uh, you wanted to talk about the McDonald's All-American because you oh, got yeah, robbed. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> so just talk about you getting highway robbed because Liv said he kind of got robbed a little bit. Yeah, 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 they robbed me. They robbed me, Liv. <laughs> they robbed me. But again, first of all, they robbed me because they gave y'all homeboy Nick Anderson my number. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Nick was 44 and I'm 40. I'm like, how y'all going to get Nick 44 and I'm in Detroit? I'm at home. And, right. and the McDonald, the McDonald All American game was in Detroit. American game, right? So that was nineteen ninety. Uh, it was eighty six. Eighty. Oh, I'm sorry, eighty six. So, yeah. Bob, you 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 tweaking over that kid. I was thinking about. <laughs> I was thinking about something else. I was. In the so 90s. you know when when you know we practicing and everything. So you know you still you hear stuff, right? It's all before McDonald's All American game, you know. And then you always got your haters anyway. So they like, oh, you know shit. D was the last one to get picked anyway. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So I'm hearing all this, but I'm filing it. Okay. So you got it in the memory. You got it in your memory right now. So so they, so they can understand when the, when it's time to play, yeah. you already know what's going I on. I already know what it is. So they did live, they, they did introduce me last. Wow. They you know what I'm saying? Too. They introduced me last. So that I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, recognize, right? So you got JRE, number one player, you know, in the country. Like I say, you got T Mills on our team, but you had Scott Williams, Stevie Thompson. That's why I met Stevie at the McDonald's All American game, and we started talking about Syracuse then. Oh wow! Yeah, 
Yeah, wow. he waved to California. Wow. You know, so when I get in the game, like I said, when I get it, I'm telling T Terry now, hey, when I board it, everybody run. <laughs> right, right. Everybody run. So I'm bringing it, passing it, passing it. I come down one time and, and J.R. Reed jumped out on me, man. I blew by him and dunked on him so I hard. I remember that. And one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the and one, they like, damn, who the hell is this kid? J.R. Reed remember that too, don't he? Uh, yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> But but you gotta understand, man. I tell people this all the time. They's like, D, it's over. You won. I'm like, no, because everybody got a rock on their shoulder, bro. I got a cement block. Wow, and wow. So even every time that I saw them, bro, I'm in your ass <laughs> right from the beginning. So look, we lead the McDonald's All American game, right? Okay, they rob, they rob me. They take me out the game. I hit the shot to tie the game up. They take me out the game, sub me, I think, for Scott Williams, right? It's like two minutes left to go in the game. And I'm in Detroit. Right. Wow. Sub me out the game. We lose. JRE get the MVP trophy. You know what I'm saying? Man, my high school coach came down there, man, cussed <laughs> everybody out. They had to escort him out of there. <laughs> <laughs> He came and cussed everybody out. Wow. Take my motherfucking horse out the goddamn game. Right. Go. <laughs> man, he just tied the motherfucking game up. And you at the crib. And I'm here, yeah, man. Cussed them out, man. Cussed them out, bro. So, okay. McDonald's All American game over with, right? Uh -huh. Summer AAU in Florida. Wow. Who do we run into? J.R. Reed and Alonzo and them Team Virginia. Wow. I'm right back at your ass again. <laughs> had, had, came up again, Liv. We won, we won the AAU championship. Wow. And wow. Ran to him. Played, played Florida with Dwayne Shenses and Chris so, Corsi. So, 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 D, who was all on your team from Detroit? Everybody. Me. See, look, that, that, that's how deep we was. T, T. Mills didn't even go with us. Willie Burton didn't go with us. Steve Smith didn't go with us. What? Yeah. They didn't even go with us. Lee Coward, who went to Missouri, didn't go with us. Me. Terrence what about Smith, Doug, Doug Smith? Doug Smith went with us. Me, okay. Doug. Because remember, Doug, Lee, and Nate Budden, all of them went to Missouri. Right. So Nate Budden went with us. My boy Terrence Wheeler, who went to Arizona State, he went okay. with us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Glenn Rice, brother Kevin Rice, went with Because, see, we had two, two team Michigan. You had the suburb team, Michigan, and you had okay. the city team, Michigan. And then we played a championship. We beat T, T Mills and them. We wouldn't let them get on, come on our team and play. Like, we <laughs> team yeah. I told you, that thing, that thing with me and T Mills was real, bro. Right. You know? But again, what it was thing? predicated by the media. Well, but, what but thing, D, though? You but, didn't but, tell me. You, well, hold, hold on, hold on, Rob, hold on. But, but, but Terry is not really from Detroit, though, right? He's from the right. suburbs. Yeah, he's from right. the suburbs. Right. Yeah. But see, they would so, never come down in the city and play us, though. Oh. Like, even in the summertime, when all them, them gyms we bought at the St. T never came in the St. to play. So the media, the media made it, gave yeah. him that hype, saying that yeah, Terry gave, Mills was the was the king yeah. of Michigan, basically. Yes, gave all, gave all the hype. I mean, T was a bad dude, right. but he couldn't fuck with me. Right. <laughs> you know? Well, you keeping it real? Yeah, you're I mean, it, real. It, is, it is what it is. But he That's knew it too, though, right? Yeah, he couldn't fuck with me. You know what right. I'm saying? So again, man, we play, we beat beat uh, Shenses them in the AAU shit. In Florida, right? Uh huh. So, my uh, freshman year at the Q's, who we run into in the uh, the final eight? North Carolina. Who's on North Carolina? Jr. Reed. <laughs> hey, coach. D, you, got, you got him again, D. I ain't even broke up on that. <laughs> to go to the final four, Liv. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And, that's I got. and look, we beat Shanshias and them. The game before that, it was Dwayne Sense, uh, Vernon Maxwell, uh, and what's the other guard name? Moten. It was Moten. I can't think of his first name, but we beat them 
first, and then we played Carolina to go to the Final Four and beat them. So, so that was in 19, what, 88? That was 87. 87, yep, I yeah. remember that. I remember that. Because yeah, you had Cycli. You had Cycli yeah, on the squad. Yeah, right, right, man. Ronnie put on the clinic. Yeah. yeah. Shenson was talking all that mess. Oh, man, I'm going to do this to Ronnie. Man, Ronnie had like 35 on that motherfucker. Because every time Ooh. we got it, we I'm going to you, Sight. Killing you. You don't hear like Ronnie Sight's he name that much no he more, He was man. tough. Where was he from, Lil? Greek Sykes or something, right? from actually Lebanon. Lebanon. Oh. Yes, he's from Lebanon, man. And he came to Syracuse. He's, he's, he lives in Miami. Sight DJs now. That's what hey. I was going to say. Somebody told me he's like a world renowned DJ. Good, okay. good job, Cycli. Good job. I mean, he, hey, Rob, he ain't never <laughs> want for nothing anyway. Right. right. You know what I'm he saying? Came his from dad, rich his family. dad now was in, in the shipping. So they had a civil war when we were in school and um, they kidnapped his dad. Wow. Yeah. I mean, and not his, his dad's brother. Wow. His dad went over there with their briefcase, though. Like, wow. yeah, here y'all go. On, hey, bro. can we can we make this a two part series, Lid? <laughs> can we come right back on and do this again right back? Cause we got ten minutes left in this one. All I think right. we need we got to do a two part series with DC, dog. There's <laughs> no way we can get thirty minutes in, dog. I, know, I mean, just thirty I minutes. I know, man. We, we we let's just jump. Let's just go ahead and jump to uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Syracuse. Uh, how do you pick Syracuse? Uh, oh, Jim Beheim and a great coach. I, I love Jim Beheim, man. I wish yeah, I would come to that so, too. So man. they they were recruiting me, you know. Uh, I mean, I could have went to school anywhere, you know. Um, Michigan was was recruiting me, but I I don't know. I gave you the story where they came in and recruited me and telling me, you know, I'm their number one recruit. All the stuff that you hear and don't worry about or whatever. So my uncle used to make us go outside. Well, not make us tell us, you know, go show this snow clean off my car before he go to work, you know. <laughs> and so we sitting at the table eating breakfast. He comes back in with the newspaper. He slams it on the table. Like, you see this? I'm like, what's that, huh? So I unrolled, the, you know, the newspaper. It got T. Mills on the cover saying, you know, Michigan's number one recruit got a crown on his head. You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah. Now, you just left my house two days ago. Oh, saying you was the man. Telling me the same thing, right? Yeah. So, man, hey, Robert Turner don't play. He went right in there and got on the telephone, man. Cuz Bill Freeland, them asked out. Canceled my visit, everything, to Michigan, which I wasn't going to Michigan, you know, anyway. Right. But see, what people don't know is that Coach Bayheim and, and Dave Bean were roommates in college. Dave oh. Bean. So ever since I moved to Detroit at 13, Dave Bean has been my mentor. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. wow. Because him and my high school coach knew each other. And um, so he used to send me to basketball camp every summer to Syracuse wow. since I was 13. You know, and growing up, bro, I thought Niagara Falls was on the West Coast. Right. You know <laughs> Real wow. No exposure. Yeah, I'm with you, D. I'm no with exposure. You. So he'd be taking me up to camp. I'm like, man, what is that? You know what I'm saying? He's like, that's Niagara. I'm like Niagara Falls. Right. Like, yeah. So we would go to Niagara Falls, you know, and stop. And I'm like, man, I thought Niagara Falls on the West Coast somewhere. Mind right. you, we four hours from it, Liv. But again, no exposure as our kids growing up, not knowing. Only know right. your neighborhood. Only knowing our neighborhood. And it's so crazy, it's still like that. Yeah. You only know these blocks that we around, man. But see that what basketball done for us, it gets created exposure for us to go places and see things, man. And that's one good thing about AAU I want to add. While a lot of people don't like the structure of AAU, it yeah. allow these young men to travel and see the world. You can't take yeah. that away. Now, you can't take that part away. Of, but you know what the thing is with AAU, they just rolling the balls out, man. Ain't nobody teaching. Right. You got to teach the game basketball, man. You know, they just roll the ball. And, and D, and, 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 and D, why do you think that though? Like, why do you think that some of these coaches that say they these elite coaches, elite trainers, they want to get these elite players, and then they just roll the ball out? Why? Why? Why is that? It's, it's all the hustle, live. Right? <clears throat> it's all so the, the basketball hustle. is a new hustle yeah. uh, on the amateur. It's been that. It, think about it. It's been that probably when we were kids. We, yeah, we did have some. We did have some people like that doing that uh, on the circuit, uh, especially in Chicago, Detroit, L.A. Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah, you, we you had do guys have that really cared about our well-being, man. 
you know. It's a, it's a cash cow, no, I don't. People are living yeah. pretty good, pretty damn good life off of it. But we got like five minutes left, and uh, I want to try to do. You think we could pull off a two part series? Uh, we just did this college thing. Do the yeah. second part about your pros. You got a minute to do that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So what we'll do is we'll dial it down right now. We'll come back in five minutes. How about that, guys? Sounds great, man. Okay, so we'll be back on in five minutes. That works, Mr. Liberty, uh, Marcus Liberty. Yeah, man, that's good. Uh, I know I got to be somewhere at uh, five. There you go, man. Where you got to be? You supposed to be in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Tell on them, DC. Tell on them, man. Hey, man, I got my gloves. I got my gloves, man, and my mask on, man. So okay, I gotta, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta Make it quick. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll be back, man, in uh, five minutes. So give me um two uh two forty. All right, guys. All right. I will right. be back. All ball yeah. Chicago, man. Believe part that network. DC and my man Marcus yeah, Liberty in the building. Man. Let's do it, man. Let's